All right, just the other day, I was looking at my beautiful Ducati motorcycle that I love so much. This is one of the greatest motorcycles I've ever had. And I've added some things here and there to personalize it and uh, make it my own and make it better for me, which is, you know, my opinion. I, I'm very happy with the things that I've done. I've added some little red accents, small things, not large things to overdo it, but uh, just to highlight, I've added a little red cap right here versus the uh, stock one. I've added a little, a little red bar ends there uh, just over time, which I was like, eh, I'm gonna try it out and see it, and I actually like it. I added the uh, flycatcher windscreen, but I uh, darkened or blackened out the uh, clear portion of it, of the front. I think that really adds to the look along with some other things uh getting rid of the passenger foot pegs and moving to this uh, evotech uh, exhaust bracket i really really like that just cleans up everything the other day or uh, maybe two weeks ago i was looking at my bike and i was like you know what's missing i you know and, and what usually you see on on this bike especially with brembo brakes if we move up to the front right here here you see the brembo portion and it's lacking color in this area. So I was like, man, be cool to, to uh, paint just the, the uh, portion of the Brembo and make that red just like the bike. Cause on pretty much all the high performance uh, sports cars and anything we see Brembo brakes, it's got red on the Brembo brakes. And so I was thinking, man, that'd be really cool and probably be uh, really stunning to uh, paint that red. It's actually, yeah, it's, a, it's a raised portion on that brake, so this is a machined aluminum, and, uh, and so it would be very, very easy to paint, uh, just painting the, the higher portion, because the logo sticks out just a little bit, and so it would be very easy to paint that. And I was thinking, a lot of this is a lost art, because uh, people just don't know some of the things that we had to do when we were younger to, to do things. So they make a, a little paint pen. Let me show you what this paint pen looks like. In the hobby world, you know, 20 years ago or so, for you know, maybe 20, 25 years ago, you could get a paint pen. It has, you know, you can get acrylic or you can get an enamel. Uh, you can get different types of paint in here. Probably would want to stick with enamel since this is a pretty harsh area. So enamel uh, paint, and it has just a regular tip on it. Push down and make to make the paint flow, uh, and then you can paint. You can actually. For some people, a little bit more precision to, to, to paint with their hand, uh, you know, instead of a brush, you know, or paint with uh, the tip of this is what I'm trying to get at. When I get ready, I'll make, I'll prime this pen so the red's flowing, and then I'll come in here and highlight and try to paint that and do the best job I can. And then we'll look at the, you know, before, and we'll look at the after. And I think uh, if I can make it work good enough, uh, and I can, you know, have a steady hand and make it look really good, then I will like it. So I'll let you decide. Comment, let me know what you think, uh, if you like it or not. And I also removed uh, one YouTuber on one of my videos, like, man, you got to remove those orange reflectors from your, your shock. And he was like, man, you got to do that pronto. And I was like, hmm, I think you're right. So uh, you got to use a heat gun and heat that up really hot and it's applied by adhesive and I pulled those off and someone did the, you know, made the comment and I was like, ah, yeah, I got it. And I totally 100% agree. And I, and I benefited from, from someone telling me that. And so, you know, maybe something, there's something else that someone knows that I don't, but let's go ahead and skip to this. We're going to need to really clean this area and let me show you what kind of cleaner you probably need to use. Hopefully, hopefully this is helpful. Um, this is a, a one choice. This is a wax and grease remover for the automotive painting trade. And this was like $25 per can. So it is not cheap, but it removes everything from the surface so it can be uh, painted. And so it's just a, a really good cleaner, uh, a, a, well and beyond, a, beyond a, a good cleaner. So um, this removes all the stuff and it, it will dry away and, and it won't leave any residue. And then you can paint on top of it, maybe do two sprays. So it's not gonna get anything uh, bad on your disc brakes, you know, to uh, harm or hurt your braking. 
you know, put anything greasy on your disc or contaminate your pads. Clean that off like that. One choice and I got it at an automotive uh, a paint shop. And again, not cheap. One thing I'm just gonna quickly recommend, uh, you may have a, uh, get a heat gun, or if your uh, garage or where you're doing this is, is heated, because if you're doing this in the wintertime, this is gonna be pretty uh, cold, cool to the touch. So it might be a good idea to warm this area up, just warm to the touch, not hot. Don't, don't bake, your, bake your break or try to overcook it. <laughs> So we'll just use a, a heat gun to get this warm to the touch because right now it's cool. It's, it's probably in the mid-60s here and paint adheres better to a warmer surface. So I'm going to use this heat gun just to slightly heat this up. I got a piece, uh, a, a little uh, letter actually <laughs> from Ducati Finance. <laughs> I'm going to use, uh, shake up my paint pen. Shake that up real well. It has a little agitator in, inside. And I got this from, uh, I got this from Ace Hardware. And it's uh, $4.99 to $5.99 for this red. Let's see, uh, the brand name is Fournay, F O R N E Y. Um, I couldn't find it at Hobby Lobby, a good paint pen with a, a red color that matched the red that I wanted. So we're going to shake that up really well. And then I'm going to push down and make the, uh, the paint flow into the foam applicator. Prime it if you want to call it that. Okay, it looks like I got red flowing. And paint on the caliper or the uh, brake, yeah, the caliper, excuse me. And I, I may need to get more paint flowing or you may need to do this a couple of times. And you may need to get the, uh, the, the brush flowing a little better right now or shake it up more. It's kind of more liquidy right now. Once you get it flowing, you may let that, you know, go ahead and put one coat on and then let that dry and then come back and put another coat, a second coat or a third coat. So I'm going to get that done while uh, I don't have you just waiting on camera and then we'll come back and look at the final uh, the final outcome. All right, here's the finished result, as you can see. And the cool thing about this is you can do whatever color you want. You can do uh, red, blue, yellow, green, whatever, whatever color suits your fancy. Uh, ultimately, you know, Ducatis are red. So in the, the uh, normal color that goes on Brembo, Brembo brakes is the color red. So that's just what I chose. Uh, just be advised, uh, I came in uh, pretty quickly after the first coat and put on a second coat. The paint had not dried yet. And as you apply paint to uh, a, a wet coat, it's just not the most beneficial. So go ahead and wait. But for the purpose of this video, I wanted to get this out fairly quickly. And so people could see it uh, versus, you know, maybe on Christmas Day and, uh, and get uh, more people to view it. So. There you go, that's what it looks like. I think it looks really good. Uh, accents, the, the awesome Brembo brakes that come on these machines. This front brake is an amazing front brake and uh, just put a little color to it and dress it up. Okay, thanks for having a uh, view in my video. Have a great day.